Up himself. 2GG Z Fly. How's it going, everybody? Mm -hmm. Back with another Monday night Mega Smash Mondays. And of course, now we're getting into the top eight, right? Yeah. We, this is a uh, Nitro, who is no stranger to being in top eight. No, always no, no, telling no. his opponents to take this and whatnot. <laughs> but uh, a newcomer, yeah. we have Speklar. Yeah, I actually do not know too much about Speklar. It's kind of the cool thing I like about a lot of these locals now is that we're having a lot of new players coming out to the fight. And also showing out what they got. You know, it takes a while for you to get at that level, but if you remain consistent, practice a lot, you know, look at your bots, things like that, you will find yourself at this level. And I feel like Speklar is a great example uh, for me, at least, because I don't know who he actually is. I don't know his history at all as a player. So, but Nitro, no, no history needs to be reminded by myself because Nitro is a player formerly known as Orochi Wolf. I mean, Sonic was one of the great Sonics in SoCal back in the day. That's right. And now and he's... I'm, I'm actually excited to see him pick Sonic because last week he stuck it out with his uh, his Belmont pick. Yeah. Even though he was playing someone else who could uh, arguably camp him out harder. Uh, mm -hmm. But he just stuck it out and, you know, it didn't work out. But now we see him switching to Sonic uh, in this week. And he's going up against a Jigglypuff. Yeah, I kind of respect it. You know, going Richter as the Belmonts, if Puff manages to get you off stage, it's literally fair city, and you will take that early death. That's true. You do need to get that tether grab, and Puff being the way she is, she's just going to be able to camp that area. Mm -hmm. Just put up a wall of fairs and nares, and make it very difficult to make it back to the stage. But yeah. good spin dash into up air. That, that's the thing about Nitro too is, is he's able to round, move around the stage and move around Puff. Oh no, he sent pretty bad. Okay, gets the gets the uh, homing attack there at the nick of time. That's right. When, that that homing attack is so strong now you can't ever forget about it. It can be used in an offensive manner or even just to recover. Yeah, and it's pretty good too because the way that Speckle was off the stage, he was just able to aim at him and come back. Okay, I like it. He saves that air dodge for that last second to come back to the ledge. Gets the neutral on Speklar. Speklar just looking for another angle here. One thing to know about a Ryuichi Wolf is that he knows he kind of has to stay close to Puff, but he also knows he has a stage to move around with and the speed to do it. So I feel like he's doing an excellent job of just moving around and picking one to choose to fight Speklar, especially when it's off the stage right there. I mean, even in that little instance that we saw with Nitro and Speklar, mm -hmm. Nitro was dancing around on the stage, and then as Speklar was kind of floating above me, he just instantly used the spin dash, yeah. or the, the homing shot, and just pressure him, uh, Speklar, into the air. But now you see the, the ledge traps coming out from Speklar, throwing out those nares. Okay, I like it. Nitro able to come back towards the stage. One thing that Speklar is looking for an, uh, is an opportunity to catch Nitro on the slip. Like that, right? He holds the shield, goes for forward or out of shield, knowing where Nitro's going to be. He knows he's coming towards the shield. Lucky for Nitro, he keeps getting hit across stage. So mm -hmm. even though he's getting tagged out of his spin dash, it's not enough to, uh, not enough launch to send him into a, a death. All right, Nitro kind of staying at the edge here, able to get that homing attack. He's working on the stock, but if he finds a grab, he can't find it. There's a solid trade. Nitro going to take that to the bank and cash it out for the first stock of the day. Now sitting at 150%. Oh, he's going to go for some rage throw into up air. Decent 21%. I mean, my man's still out here just trying to survive, and I respect it. You know, you don't want to lose your stock. You want to have a lead as much as possible. Look at this retreat. He knows where Speckler wants to be, so he's giving him the runaround, as he should. You have a lead, try to hold on to it. That's right. Making it very known that Speckler is the one that has to approach him. Uh, I mean, Jigglypuff's approach is not, not the greatest. Yeah, no, not at all. She kind of has to commit to going to forward air, oh, me reading your opportunities here. Like, at that point, Speckler had have the shield there but he knew he knew he couldn't stay around nitro now nitro snaps back almost gets him up in the air it's making it very difficult for speckler to play the game mm -hmm. big up smash and that's not gonna be good for nitro as speckler cleans up that stock with an uh, a dash attack yeah it's kind of weird too because it's like was that really i haven't seen puff too much but i mean we have a few puffs here in socal sin being one of them that's right oh and we see uh, nitro just kind of sharking speckler's landing just Waiting for his opportunity to punish. Yeah. Oh, but Speckler gets the cross up on the aerial. So that's one thing that you want to notice too, is like we do see Nitro trying to shark the landing, but he also has to respect, hey, Speckler has multiple jumps. He doesn't have to touch the ledge. He can take his time to come back to the stage and find another angle. That's how Speckler is playing, right? I don't have to use all my jumps to go to the ledge. I can use my jumps to get back on the stage. That's how he's able to get the back against Nitro. Well, as good of, as long as, uh, as much time as he's spending into the air, Nitro is still doing a great job of putting on the damage, already putting Speckler at 148 and landing a back air and closing out that stock. Mm -hmm. 
That's the thing about how Nitro's playing that I really like, is that Nitro has the speed on the ground, and even though Specular has the speed in the air, where Nitro is winning is in the neutral, the ground of the game, right? He's able to stay on ground, he's able to move in and out of Specular's range, and Specular has to be in the air, and he has to come back down to the stage at some point or another, and that's where Nitro's catching Specular. See, he has to come down, misses the aerials, and then Nitro just moves out of the area, and then he comes out for a different way, see, like that. That's right, another good... Uh, spin attack falling up with the back air. Even using a homing attack and falling up with another back air. Oh, spin attack. Homing attack would put him in a disadvantaged position, but Ooh. he has all the time in the world to get it back. Yeah, he does. Uh, my man risked it for the biscuit and did not get any peace. The homing attack has such a long range that he was able to just... That's all he needed to do was to get back to the stage. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's, the range is pretty good too. But it's also because Specular is also like out there, like it takes, even though Puff can move great around the air, she doesn't have the best air move, move, uh, movement. Her speed isn't that fast as it used to be. Okay, good, air at the stage. Let the ledge trapping begin. Oh, speak of the devil, Z-Fly, you called it out. But Nitro able to ease his way back into the stage. Lines oh, wow. up! <laughs> Very dangerous move, just dashing right into her F-Smash range while Sonic was winding up. Gets the chair. Nitro looking to just close out the stock up air. We'll take it. Okay, big Nair coming down. Nitro jump. I, okay, I was going to say, like, Specular has the punish there because Nitro went for a neutral off out of the shield, and Specular was in a perfect position to take care of that stock. Now we see Nitro still playing that patient game. Specular actually pulling back, making. Looking for opportunities to land like a meaty forward air? Yeah. Or even an air. Okay. At this point, Nitro is kind of already winning. He doesn't have to commit too much. A couple slip ups will allow Specular to get Nitro off the stage and catch him off guard with a couple forward airs. And even though we have seen Nitro use that, that uh, homing attack to come back to the stage, if Specular is not in the position for it, he will probably lose his uh, recovery. So That's Nitro has to play a little bit slow here. That's true, but at the same time, Nitro has to be aware that rest at, at this position in these percent oh, yeah. probably going to kill. Shout it's going to take the stock. Ooh. Shout out to HLB. He actually put out a pretty good tweet about which kill percent gets in. He gets a good trade, though. Specular still holding on to life at 205. That's right. Percent lead is in Nitro's favor, but if he's not able to take the stock, he's going to have to wait another minute and 40 seconds for the game to end. Yeah. So Nitro. Uh, Specular just looking for his opportunity to pull out the rest. Not gonna be able to punish. There it is. Yeah, he got him on the roll. <laughs> I like. Good thing about Nitro though is the timing. That's kind of what I've been seeing at that last couple minutes. The timing that he did from the homing attack and the timing he did for his moves, he was kind of mixing it up. That one time, like he just waited, 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 waited for Specular to make an option, and then immediately went in with the punish. That's what Nitro did. Just hold on for a second, see what my opponent's gonna do, and then go for the punish there. And the way that Specular was so scared, mm -hmm. uh, it was honestly a pretty good read for Nitro. Yeah, I mean, like you said, Nitro had a great idea of what Specular was looking for, and he kept committing to options where Specular would have a very difficult time uh, using rest to punish him. Mm -hmm. Staying, always moving is kind of like when Nitro played, right? Like, I always want to move. I don't want to stay in place too long. I don't want to feel pressure from Puff, especially from retreating back to the corner. Specular's aim of the game here is to try to find end lag from Nitro. Because his moves do have end lag. He does retreat to the corner. So what is Specular going to do once Nitro resets himself at the corner? Well, hopefully he'll be able to uh, approach. Because the speed difference between these two characters is pretty big. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, you can already tell in this percent. The speed of the percent here for Sonic is already fast. But Specular finally moving in with Pound. And only for Nitro to reset right back to neutral. Oh, that's a great grab. Off the air dodge. But is he only going to get the grab? It looks like he was not able to convert off that down throw or forward throw. I kind of like how Nitro went a little bit higher just dodging that forward. I'm sorry, that neutral air from Specular. Okay, dropping down with an air. Uh, Specular trying to get the state spike. Onto Nitro from his recovery. Ooh. A lot of defensive options coming out from Specular. Nice, launch the neutral and gets the back air. And oh. that will be it, unfortunately. I feel like he air dodged himself to the blast zone in that situation. Specular has the jumps and he has the ability. He should have made given a comeback. It looked like he even stopped being launched before he got he went into the blast zone. That's, that was interesting. Yeah. Forward air, okay, Specular looking for another forward air. That's what he wants, right? Another forward air, neutral air, just to get Sonic off the stage. 
The thing about Specklight too is that he's been going for forwarders and a lot of neutral alpha shield. The reason why he goes for that in like that situation, right? You get a cross up with the hitbox, also lasts for a little while. Can't see the rollout. Oh man. Not gonna get punished by Nitro. But I'm seeing a lot of Smash Vortex coming out from Specklar. We're seeing like approaching with forward airs, mm -hmm. crossing up with Nair. Even uh, rolling behind his opponent to see if he can get the rest option. I like it. Nitro comes back with a hitbox just to secure the stage just for a little bit. Yeah. Always moving, man. That's how he's playing. He knows, hey, I don't want to stay in one spot. I don't want to get hit. I don't want to get hit by forward air. Takes moving, tries to move from that situation, but he gets the hit. But that's the thing, right? He wasn't going to be cornered. He wasn't going to let Puff get a grab or possibly go for a rest. That's right, but getting the trade. And not enough to take the stock from Nitro. And then the lead trapping again. Again. Big. Well, Pound actually hit below the ledge. That's what I actually haven't seen at all. Yeah, I haven't seen it work. Okay, Nitro taking his time here. Play lame, win the game. Get the dash attack. Now Nitro securing the edge phase a little bit. Nice. Gets the fake out and the grab. Okay, another homing attack coming up from Nitro. Now oh, there it is. Nair out of shield is the winner for Speklar. That was the option he was looking for. Now we're going to see an aggressive Nitro now that he's uh, at a lower percent. Okay, try to go for the spring. Rebound again. He's throwing out a big S match here. After a... Uh... I kind of like that too because he kind of knows that Speklar is going to come in with an aerial. So if he's able to space himself, he will eventually find the punish. That's true. He... The S-Mash from Sonic does have a lot of range. Yeah. And of course, if you come in too hot, like, Sonic can just read you where you're going to go. A lot of buttons coming out from Speklar. See forward air into F-Tilt. Homing attack still connecting. Oh, nice. He's going to air dodge to come back on the stage. Yeah, both players have been making great use of their air dodge, uh, af either after their jumps or their up B. The one thing that I kind of saw like a slip up from Speklar, he went for a neutral air out of shield, but I feel like he should have gone for a grab. That's one thing I haven't seen Speklar been able to get is the grab. And it's kind of hard for him to actually grab Sonic because, like I said, Sonic is always moving. That's so Speklar right. kind of has to just wait for the opportunity, and sometimes when it was there in his face, he just doesn't get it. I mean, even look at what just happened. Nitro has been using spin attack into spring uh, up B three times in a row. Yeah. And Speklar, there was really nothing he could do. Oh, that's a good trade for Speklar, and Speklar finally getting the lead. First time in the game, we're going into four minutes. Man, it just feel like it's been going on for years. Nitro, hopefully, he can keep his calm. Of course, when Puff has a lead, Puff can start looking at rest reads as well, or even rest confirms. Yeah, that was an up air into an F smash. I, I can't remember the last time I saw a Jig do that. But All right. The aggression continues for Speklar. It's continuing to keep Nitro off the stage. <laughs> I, li I kind of like I kind of like the the frog trap that Nitro was going for. He's looking to see when when Speckler is gonna go and make the approach after each fuck trap. And I feel like Speckler uh, Speckler wanted to punish the the run back animation. Of course, has a lot of end lag. But Nitro comes back to the stage. Da um, I say get up attacker just to come back in. I'm trying to use the pound to stuff out the homing attack approach. Did not find it now. I mean, the ball is still in, in Nitro's court. Yeah, He's still in full control of the game. Speklar is the one that has to chase, even though he has the percent lead. Nitro is still forcing Speklar to approach. Yeah, and okay, gets the up air. Nitro is kind of picking and choosing his time now. Ah, there it is. He had Speklar frustrated off the side of the stage, and that'll be the handshake and the.